rules in the backpack there. Any questions from the red corner? Any from the blue? Okay, touch them up. Fight clean, fight fair. Steel City Rumble, four, about two. Let's do this. And you're back at it, and we've got two good stand-up fighters. We know that uh, Lewis Gordy is a really accomplished kickboxer, and uh, Nick Portillo, who just came off a, a good away win. Yeah, he had his uh, debut victory about a month ago, fresh off his 18th birthday here. So young kid, aggressive, good boxing skills, yeah. and uh, good wrestling background. There you go with the left hook, it's no, no joke. Not to He's got heavy hands here with his good, good wrestling there. He's got side control. Yeah, we knew he was going to be aggressive. We knew he would come out aggressive. Looking to work some ground he and pound. He needs to get that, drop that knee. Here he goes. Looking the north-south, working his ground and pound pass now. And get into mount. Louis looks like he's trying to pull guard and can't back to his feet. And Nick back working his feet. hands. And Gordon's you know, gonna Portillo's have to get that right hand up or, or Portillo's gonna keep picking away with that left Looks hook. like Portillo's has caused a cut over the right eye of uh, Louis. He has got a cut with that left hook. This is a, this is a yeah. brawl. A lot of that stings <laughs> off of uh, Gordy's punches already. He looks tired. Yeah, he, he definitely does look a little gassed. I don't think he, this is a heck of a pace. Definitely. For anybody. Nick working the body in the uppercuts, he's in his boxing. Ah, looked like a low I, blow. I didn't see the low blow. But I didn't see the low blow myself. But the referee's got a better uh, view than we definitely. do. Definitely, and here's a replay of it. Looked like, he uh, it looked like it was skimming. Partially with an uppercut. Now the referee's looking at that cut on the eye of Gordy. He brought the doc in to take a look at it here. <laughs> Um, it doesn't look like it's bad enough. It's not a, his vision's not obscured. I think the doc's gonna let it go. I think we'll be all right. This um, is uh, but he's gonna have to do something to, to get Portillo off of him. Yeah, he definitely needs yeah, to start throwing his, his jab his out up. there. <laughs> Watch out for those heavy hands of Portillo's because yeah. he that definitely left hand's has gonna some, land and it's gonna hands. be lights out. He's gonna have to come out a little stronger. I don't think he was uh, ready for the pace. Yet. Oh, that big that right from nice Portillo's. Right Another right. Got some blood flying. This is a brawl. Working now. that body. Portillo's is right tagging him up. Portillo's is pushing the pace. And you and I discussed this. Could very well be fighting tonight. night. <laughs> Definitely. The two young guys. Portillo's has got him on the ground now looking to finish. MMA fighters. <laughs> There's his... Uh, Utilizing his wrestling background there. They're definitely not, neither of them are having a perfect fight, but the, it's exciting. Definitely it's exciting. exciting. crowd's into it. They love it. This is definitely a fan pleaser. And I think, you know, the, the big key for Gordy is that he's got to keep Portillas off him. He's got to get his jab going. And the kid's definitely. a kickboxer. He's got to get his foot out there and keep this kid away from him. Or he's going to just keep banging. Yeah, Nick's looking to control I don't think you're going to slow here. Portillos down by hitting him in the face. <laughs> not much. He's a de definitely a tough kid with a granite chin. <laughs> you know, this is not where Louie wants to be. Definitely. Like you said, he's a kickboxer. Yeah. <laughs> Nick's going to go. want to bring it back to the feet. And this is where the crowd wants it. This yep. is what the crowd wants to see. And he pulled that head toward him when he throws that uppercut. The part of the Louis problem here is conditioning. Obviously, Portillo's spent a little bit more time conditioning oh. than Gordy. We're getting a little blood on us. on us. We got a bird's eye view. <laughs> Portillo's is pushing the pace. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, what a first oh. round. We have blood on the papers <laughs> in front of us. There's blood all over the commentator's table. <laughs> that is beautiful. Like we you said, don't get a much better seat than that, do you? <laughs> no. <laughs> You gotta love the blood flying on us. That is beautiful. You know, Portillo's really pushed the pace and uh, really dominated that round, I think. Um, you know what? I agree. Obviously, he won the round. Um, you know, it's hard to tell 
how the judges would score that, obviously, but yep. when you look at the punches landed and the power that Nick was putting into it, he brought it the whole time. Gordy's yep. either going to have to get that jab going. He's just throwing that left hand out there. Yeah, he's definitely longer than Portillo, so he's not using it to his advantage at all. Well, Portillo's just walking right through what he's throwing is what he's doing. <laughs> He gets hit and just keeps on coming. He's like a freight train. Yeah, that's right. You know, I guess that kid's got kids... one fight under his belt. This is his second fight. He's one to watch, especially if you want to watch a fun fight. Definitely. <laughs> and to think this kid, you know, he, he just turned 18 two months ago. So he's yeah. definitely got a good future he's ahead a, of him. He's like the old timers know he's around now. Here we go, round two. He's getting, that, he's getting that foot out there. Oh, again. A big right by Portillo. So they both exchange the drives. He gets that. Mark Portillo grab the back of the head and throw that uppercut. They're both starting to fade a little bit now. Yeah, it looks like they're both a little tired. That was a, a wicked pace for the first round. And I, I don't care how hard you condition with the adrenaline uh, rush. Definitely. And then you have the adrenaline crash and then. You're gonna come out here, and now it's, it's uh, I think it's hard. Definitely. We're gonna find out what these kids are made of. Well, you know, I've well, looked certainly to see Gordy's got a lot of heart. That, he's, he's been beat up for a whole round, and he, now he's... Definitely, Nick's, Nick's looking to, you know, work the single leg. I wouldn't be surprised to see Nick take it to the ground here. Yep. And Nick's gotta be careful he doesn't get stuck in a guillotine here because yeah. that sunk in there. Oh! oh my goodness! Nick with the great body-to-body -to -body suplex. Showing his Greco-Roman and wrestling background right there. The crowd liked the, the noise of the slam. I don't and know the, how much damage was done, but it certainly sounded good. It was definitely a nice, nice slam. And those rib shots have got to hurt. Definitely. We're sitting right next to where this is happening, and you can see the, you can see the his rib cage <laughs> move when he drops those big bombs. Definitely. You know, I think what Nick needs to do is pass guard here. Definitely. He hasn't made, really made any attempt to do that in the whole first round. He was happy to stay inside, side mount, and just pound on him like that. But if he gets past his guard as heavy as his hands are, there he goes. Looks like he's working his way to north go. south. Now the boy looking for the armbar and he gets the tap out victory. Hey, that was that was nice. Portillo finishes him off in the second round. Uh, that's uh, one of their coaches, Jeremy, helping out from the back. Remember the audience standing right behind us where this action was going on, yelling armbar, and Nick jumped right into him. That was nice. He set but that I, up real honestly, nice. Honestly, I don't know how much longer that was going to go on anyway. He was taking a heck of a beat and Gordy was. Definitely. But, you uh, got to give uh, Gordy Mark, credit. He he took some shots. He's tough. <laughs> he's definitely so tough. So we know he's tough. No doubt about that. You know, I have uh, I had the pleasure of training with Nick, and I, I knew he was going to push the pace and bring it, and uh, he, he did a good job. And it, what an exciting first round. Are we going to see, really are... We may see a better display of uh, craftsmanship, but I don't think we'll see a better display of action or heart. Definitely. For the rest of the evening. All right, okay. I don't want to have to get the fighters in a headlock and make you guys talk loud, so you got to talk into the mic. All right, represent Pueblo also, Team AKKA. Nick, Nick, were you worried that the low blow was going to change the momentum of the fight? Not at all. No. No. Did you have a strategy? Just go in and fight. It looks like you let him get up. Um, were you thinking, you know, I'm, I'm not doing well on the ground. I'm going to let him stand up and take my chances banging? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Come on, you got to speak up, man. They want to hear you. I don't know. Sponsors, give a shout out to some sponsors. We got no sponsor. What about AKK? <laughs> Love you guys. All right, Team Pueblo, Nick, AKK, Epi. What more could you guys ask for?